why is Brooke over here trying to force Hope to be with Leon? You can't make her be with Leon, and you can't make Leon be with her, because Leon don't made it clear he wants Steffi back. He don't made that clear. First of all, look, Brooke hard of hearing. Y'all know I keep saying that. I said, is she hard of hearing? They all be having little moments where they hard of hearing, and I was like, y'all ain't listening. Leon don't want her. Leon wants Steffi. Leon wants Steffi. You can't make her be with this man, but hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This was Bold and Beautiful, September 18, 2023. Before we continue the video, y'all, I want y'all to check out the DLC Crew Text Club, and I want y'all to sign up. It's just $5. It's currently on sale for $5. The link will be in the description. You receive, you will receive four encouraging messages per month. Again, the link is in the description. It's currently on sale for $5. It's a text club, y'all. Okay, so we might as well start with Hope now. So, they, first of all, didn't they lock the door? Like, I'm confused. Did they get up and unlock it or something? But, yeah, uh, if if Brooke had been just a little while uh, ahead, she would have seen them on that couch. She would have seen them on the couch. She done walked in and everything. <laughs> I mean, technically, I give them the excuse right there. Because, you know, normally I'd be like, they just be walking in and don't care. But since they at the office, you ain't supposed to. No locked door. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ain't supposed to, like, unless you're in the meeting or something. Well, I know some people had a uh, d door closed. But considering they all share this dog on office, they share this office they share every office look she don't walk in she don't see them on the, <laughs> on the desk look they about to go at it again hope over here using i ain't i ain't gonna say she using him because she told him what it was he said he cool with it as long as he get to have her in his arms i say you fool you fool and that's where like i feel like they actually will make her pregnant at this point because the fact that she just made it clear she told him that it's not love for her um it may never be and he told my son as long as i as long as i had you in my arms i see you fool because it, it ain't gonna work out it ain't gonna work out because the simple fact you in love with her and you want more than just sex you want more than just sex but you over here you it, he got that little mindset well it, where it's like um as long as i have a piece of you that's okay with me until that piece isn't enough until that piece isn't enough but yeah <laughs> they don't slept together then they got dressed and was started back finna sleep together again hope not hope brooke came in to my son what are you doing you used you're supposed to be with liam and liam 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 and i said you can't make this girl like oh my goodness get a grip get a grip why at this point you need to be with liam <laughs> you liam crazy liam don't sit up here and cheat on your daughter how many times considering liam don't cheat with your daughter first of all so liam ain't no prize so i don't know why they acting as if he is but yeah like liam done did a lot of stuff he wouldn't forgive her for the kiss i mean she didn't work that hard to get him to forgive her she ran right over after your husband said he wanted a divorce you ran over to the man that was responsible that's partly responsible because you the one kissed him or whatever to tell him about it. that's where you messed up it then you decide to sleep with him tomorrow it's over like yeah you just wanted a piece and now you keep wanting a piece of thomas and eventually thomas gonna say no no this ain't enough for me well i don't know because this is thomas he's been obsessed with this lady for the longest but look she done made it clear though she did so i was about to say he uh, uh she's using him but if somebody tells you what it is do y'all consider that using him because i i didn't spoke on this on a recent uh review on tyler perez latima and i asked the same question because the same thing going on is it really used well they ain't sleeping together but she is using him to get advice and all that stuff knowing that he into her so it's like okay it's the same thing like i don't know if you would call that using because he, she told him what it was. Said it's not love for her. It may never be. Basically, she just want him in their bed, on the couch, wherever they can do it. <laughs> but yeah, Brooke over here still talking about Liam. And I said, I don't understand. I don't understand why you want your daughter to be with this man. I don't understand why you speaking so highly of him when he's continuously showing you. Then I thought about it. I said, when I was saying that about how she want her daughter to be with somebody like that, I thought about her. I thought about how she won't reach back with her the many times she done cheated and kissed somebody and did this and did that. So I was like, oh, that's why. Oh, of course, that's why. I mean, they all be running around cheating on each other, but <laughs> they do. They be cheating on each other, sharing each other and everything. But uh, what else happened? So Carter came over. Um to talk to eric and he want to know why eric doing his whole collection alone i said don't you come over here now don't you come over here everybody keep asking the same thing trying to talk him out of it he done told you before now he gonna go off on you he gonna go off on you he told you before that he want to do it alone he keeps contradicting himself though eric would be like i'm doing this alone i'm doing this alone but then he'll have moments where he like well, i'm doing it with my grandson I'm doing it with rj and all that while rich is over there saying you know 
he's uh telling RJ he can't wait to they get to design something together and he'll say how he's proud of him and he glad he doing it with Eric but then he'll say something that make you, you think that he's not actually proud or glad. But yeah, they competing. They supposed to be competing. It's gonna be Eric versus RJ. And Donna had asked Eric if he told Ridge about, you know, the tremors and the handshakes and everything. I said I feel like that'll be different. I feel like it'll be more powerful. What y'all think? Would y'all like to see Ridge versus Eric or Eric versus Ridge? Or would y'all like to see them all collab together on this collection? Considering not just the fact that, you know, he going through this health thing, but the fact that he, if this really is his last collection, why not do it with your son and your grandsons, Thomas too? Could they just be over here forgetting about Paul Thomas until it's, <laughs> until it's convenient for them? <laughs> Talk about RJ, but then they'll include, look, they had their moments, y'all. They do. But yeah, Carter was basically questioning Eric, and Eric don't say him straight like he don't say everybody else straight. Um, I think Donna, look, they gonna be divided. They, I think a spoiler does say that the the um, support is divided. Some people gonna be on Eric's side, some people gonna be on Reed's side. I don't know. But I was like, once he finds out, I feel like he would still be like, uh, let's do it together. But Eric go here being stubborn and stuff. Like I get it because he did go to him. He did go to him and he was tuning them out. But at the same time, y'all know what I've been saying. Like you can't just start when you run a business and you don't dedicate all these funds to this and that. You can't just be like, oh, let's do this line and all this stuff. And Eric, he keeps speaking on his legacy and everything and uh, how he built the company. So you should know for a fact that you can't do that type of stuff. But then Rich going to agree to it. I mean, he had no choice because Eric said it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> but, uh, Rich going to say, okay, we're going to settle it on the runway. And he'll contradict himself too because he'll be like, oh, I'm happy and all this stuff and all that. But then it's like, oh, you're going to get defeated though. <laughs> he ain't said that, but y'all know. Y'all know. What else? Something else had happened. I already had talked about, you know, uh, Brooke walking in on Hope, asking her what she doing and everything. I think that's it, though. But y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for my motivational text group. Well, the Day Jones Learning Account text group. Uh, the link will be in the description. It's on sale for $5. You will receive four encouraging messages per month until the end of December. And they will be sent at random. The goal is to motivate you. So it might be a quote. It might be a quote with a link to an article or a, a YouTube video or something like that. But yeah, stay tuned until next time. This is have a great rest of the day and be safe.